Okay, so that's what that part should look like. I, I've got the bearing pressed in it now, and I've actually put a, a 16 millimeter hole all the way through, so you can actually pop the bearing out and put a new one in if necessary. This is very good um, sealed ball bearing races, made in Germany. Okay, so I've manually cut two slotted holes in there and filed them out. And now uh, I've also taken off the sharp edges around here. I don't want to skin my knuckles on it at all, at, you know, at any time. So now we'll fit it and it should go something like this. Okay, so I'll fit it up to the end of the shaft. And we get a little bit of persuasion. It should just tap on actually. Like so. Perfect. I've got to get these in. Can you see that or not? Not. That might be a little better for you, so here we go. One goes in here. And I haven't cheated either. This is, you know, straight off the machine. I've cleaned this up, put the bearing on, and this is the first time of fitting, so... Look at that, straight on. So I, I measure things up about three or four times. Uh, and then ponder over it a bit. <laughs> Let's just tap them on a little bit more, see if you go any more. That's about it. Really just, uh, this is for holding the just supporting the, the the shaft, you know, this end from wavering about in the in the air, you know, and and that's it. Let's turn the lathe around now and see if it uh, turns okay. So. Well, that looks and sounds and feels absolutely perfect to me. Look at that. Beautiful.
Okay, so um, I didn't do any talking on the last bit of the video because there's a big storm brewing outside and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory about um, what, I, what I do with these anyway. I, I place the motor onto the standoff and drill and tap one hole first. Then come <laughs> put the motor back on again and, and I use an extended drill. That's what this is, that just about fits through, I think it's half a mil in it, uh, fits through the hole. And I, I just drill a bit of millimeter just to mark the hole. So then I take it on my pillar drill or drill press and uh, drill these through and, and tap them. It's a fairly simple job, you know, to get them all lined up nice and square. So now we can put them in. Just be careful with the, the, the cables, okay, they don't pull them out the motor or something, or snap them off. I could be a little fiddly trying to put new cables in. These incidentally are M5 cap screws. I don't know what the Imperial um, would be the equivalent. Um, maybe a, a 1 or a 2 BA, maybe? What I can remember of Imperial threads. I'll just screw these in and I'll, when you come back, we'll be fitting this up to the, the Z-axis. Okay, this is my uh, flexible coupling and I've bored this one out uh, 8mm uh, all the way through, but this end had to be 10 millimeters. And it's the maximum that you could probably take this size um, flexible coupling out. So we'll put this one on first. And I split the difference 50-50. It's like, um, I think it's uh, 12 mil in this, from this side and 12 mil from this side. So it's halfway. So we'll put him on there. And do him up, <coughs> sort of tight as you can with two fingers on the small end, okay? Because this is going into aluminium and you will strip the thread. <laughs> That's it. Turn that down to six o'clock. Make it easier to get to then. Now, uh, these are my design of uh, standoffs. Um, I, I I find them very good actually, if I don't mind saying so myself. Um, and look, you, you can use this type or, or not. Now let's get the flat. On the stepper motor there's a, there's a flat, okay? So you've got to line that flat up with at least one of these. Okay. Put one screw in up here. Just nip it up. Now then, this is the awkward part. I'm going to have to get down underneath here to see see where this is. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that's that one. Now we've got another one there. I have just come across a design hiccup, but really it, it doesn't really matter. It's sort of annoying, but not. And that is, I cannot get that countersunk screw in there until I take this one out. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do to, you know, I'm not going to alter the plans for that. That's, uh, we'll say that that's a, uh, part of the design. And it's uh, a key in device. <laughs> At least that's my story. So that goes in there. Oh, tighten him up. And we can put this back in. See, it's absolutely perfect, actually. Look at that. Perfect fit. And then one in this far side. And you'll notice on here too, because I had a couple of spare uh, flexible couplings, and um, I just put that one on the end there just in case I mistakenly, you know, wound this off the end. It's a, it's a bit of a stop. Well, there she is. Mechanically, 99% there. And I am extremely happy with the outcome. It looks the part. But of course the job isn't finished yet. Um, but for this video, I think we'll bring it to an end because the next video, I will be, well, first of all, connecting it up to a computer and um, making sure everything move, moves smoothly and I will, for those of you who don't know uh, too much about Mark 3, I will tune these motors in to Mark 3 um, which means um, getting Mark 3 to define a certain distance and we'll get a DTI gauge on the each axis and uh, we'll get it perfect. That's an, a relatively easy job but uh, you know, there's a lot of people that don't quite know how to do that so we'll do that and I'll also be fitting limit switches on uh, probably on this side here so I'll be drilling and tapping and making a little plate here to line up with something on here. I might even put a leg out on here for it to to come in contact with and um, putting the other uh, switch on here and getting those working and getting them working in Mark 3 and then well we might actually make something or oh, we'll, we'll do some test cuts and it's at this point I would like to thank my patrons very much because it is the patrons behind this channel that is financially supporting to be able to carry out modifications and CNC builds like this because without their help I would find it extremely difficult because I am retired now and this is my job. So patrons Thank you very much, and if you are interested in becoming a patron, please pop along to my patron channels and, and have a look there, and I would be very grateful. So, if you go to my 
if you go to one of my two channels now, uh, there is over 350 videos. Uh, over the last eight years that I've been doing this, uh, I've accumulated quite a lot. Go along and have a look at some of my videos and press like and subscribe to my channel. That's a real good help as well. Well, I hope you pop back in and have a look at the next video um, as well as my other videos. So all I've got to say now is to you guys out there in YouTube land is thank you very much for watching and um, it's bye for now.